the vibe I was going for is like men in black. I was going to wear some black shades, a black purse, a black heel, the leather. Like I had the whole vision and it was ruined. Come on me, leave all of your things, yeah. Hey girlies and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Zara Chanel. We do fashion, beauty, and lifestyle here. So as you guys can probably tell by the title, today's video is going to be a pretty little thing haul or PLT, whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah, I used to shop at Pretty Little Things so much. When I say so much, I mean literally that's the only place I shopped. Um, Yeah, I took a little break from them and you know, I started shopping elsewhere. But um, yeah, I've pretty much been needing like dinner fits. I've been really wanting like cute little dinner, brunch, going out, like cute little fits like that. I feel like everything that I've been buying has more so been like geared towards winter. And honestly, I don't really be caring in winter. Like I'm gonna put my coat on and I'm gonna go. So usually in winter, I just look for comfortable fits, but I really wanted to find like cute, class not classy i guess cute <laughs> dressy outfits brunch dinner going out all of that like girls night out or date night all of that and if you guys see my nails do not y'all don't see them act like you don't see them they are not here um <laughs> i wanted to do like my natural nails because i usually have like acrylic and i definitely should not have done that because my natural nails are so like um so weak from having the acrylic so like they grew out pretty long and i was like oh, okay cute just do a shellac but now i have like six broken nails <laughs> so you don't see these you don't see these critters so i picked up a few things from plt and i did try them on already so i already kind of know how i feel but i'm gonna let you guys decide for yourself um in this video i'll be showing you guys it on i'll put a little video onto the side and i'll also be talking about sizing fit um material all of that and i'm gonna keep it honest with you because there's a few things plt disappointed me with they really played me with a few of these items but yeah, I'll definitely get into all of that, give you guys my honest opinion. So if you guys want to see me try on everything and give you guys a cute little haul, then just stay tuned. All right, so like always, let me show you the bag. It comes like this. I'm not going to show you the back because it has like my address and all that. But it comes with a cute little bag and there's like a little um, hand holder, whatever it's called, <laughs> um, right here. And they pretty much just put everything in here in little clear uh, plastic bags like this. Okay, so the first thing that I got was a cute black bodysuit. I feel like you always need one of these. And so this one just pretty much has the little holes in the middle. I've been seeing a lot of people wear this trend. And I feel like it's super cute. So I bought me one of them. Um, it's short sleeve. The material kind of feels a little bit like spandex. Um, it has this little like band I guess right here but I feel like the band's kind of not flattering because it doesn't hold me in the right place if that makes sense like I feel like it's supposed to be on your waist or your hips but it doesn't hold me there so I don't really care for this little band um and then it has the bodysuit which is like the three little hooks and you just click them together like that but um and then there's nothing on the back. So yeah, it's just a pretty simple bodysuit. I feel like these are definitely essential, especially for those days you're going out or you have somewhere to be and you still want to look like, you still want to look good, like you put in the effort, but you don't really want to put in the effort. <laughs> I feel like I always have those, like, like I always want to be cute, but I never want to put in the effort. And that's why I buy stuff like this, because I can literally throw this on with some leather pants and some black boots high high knee high boots or even heels and I look like I tried and like black always just does the thing so you really can never go wrong with like something like this and then like I said they were having a 50% off sale I'm gonna look it up on my phone because their tags doesn't have um it doesn't have uh price tags on it so okay so it says I bought this in a size four and then in the color black and it's size for uk so i guess i bought it small it's a size 2 us um and no wonder because literally this thing is so tight like it's so tight on my arm so tight here but it's really my fault because i brought the wrong size so um i do really really like this piece that i got here okay so the next thing that i got was a black zip up leather jumpsuit and let me just show you guys 
So it looks like this. It's kind of hard to see on screen. And it has a long zipper all the way from here to probably like past your belly button. Um, and it goes all the way down to the ankles. And it is one of those um, pieces that has like the split hem or split ankle. Um, so this I thought it was super cute online. But I was highly disappointed. I feel like it looks super cheap. Like this material is not it. The material inside of it is not it. Like the zipper is not it. And for some reason, it just does not fit right. And I got this in a size uh, UK 12. So that's an 8 US. With Pretty Little Thing, I kind of size up with pants. And since this is a jumpsuit, I sized it up. So I sized it up to an 8 US. Usually I'm like a 6 US, but in Pretty Little Thing, it like never fits me right. So I sized up. And it like, it's not that I could size down or size up. It just doesn't fit me right. Like these flaps, like just stick out, which I'll show you guys when I try it on. And then the back, like, I don't know why, but the back is not long enough. So it literally is tugging me from like right here. And then you could just see the bulging in the back of where it's like pulling up. Like it just... It's not it. So yeah, this was definitely a miss. Um, do not recommend. It's just, I feel like it's just not, it's poorly made. And like, even the material, it's not worth it. Um, and it was kind of pricey, but it was on sale though. So it's originally $48, but I bought it for $24 since it was 50% off. But yeah, I I don't recommend that. It's not flattering at all. I felt like the model looked so cute. I felt like it was going to be such a cute, like black, like the vibe I was going for is like men in black. I was going to wear some black shades, a black purse, a black heel, the leather. Like I had the whole vision and it was ruined. But <laughs> um, let me move on. Okay, so then I'll just move on to the next thing that I have, which I'm actually wearing. It is a crop top with like ties on the side. So this is how it looks. And then it has these cute little ties right here on the side. I feel like this is super cute. Um, the ties are very long, so it'll definitely tie on anybody. Um, it fits really nice. It has these three little lines here, which kind of add, like, definition to the top. Um, you'll see it a little bit better when I put it on the screen with my try-on. But, yeah, I really like this top. It's a cute little beige, simple, but it has, like, a cute little spice to the side. Definitely gave it a moment. I feel like it was also giving kind of like euphoria vibes and I've really been on that trend. So this top is originally $42, but like I said, it was on sale for $21. So I felt like it was definitely worth it. I really like this top. I'll definitely find cute little ways to style this. But this top was a two-piece, but let me tell you about these pants. <laughs> I was highly disappointed because I thought this set was super cute. So it comes with these pants. It looks like this. Um, same color, same material, same everything. Has like little um, belt holders, um, button and a zipper. And then the bottom is bell bottoms basically. Um, so yeah, I thought it was super cute. It looks super cute on the model. It just doesn't fit. Like... <laughs> So, I don't know if you guys ever had this problem where literally, like, it won't come up right here. Like, right here. In the most awkward place, it just does not lift up any higher. So, it just causes bulging there. And it just sits low in the back. I don't know. They need to make a name for that. But I feel like you guys know what I'm talking about. It just is tight in all the wrong places. And I got this in a size... Where is it? A size 12 UK. So like I was saying, that's an 8 US. Um, usually I wear a 6, but with Pretty Little Thing, I size up because it never fits me. So I sized up to an 8 US and it still doesn't fit me. And it's like I couldn't size down and I feel like I couldn't size up. It just fits awkward. And that's the worst part. It's like I can't even return this and get a different size because I know if I go up any further, it won't fit. And if I go down, I, it already don't fit. <laughs> but yeah, that's my only complaint about these pants and pretty little thing pants in general I just cannot get the sizing to work for me okay so so the last thing I got was another one of those holes in the front type of thing but this is a beige romper so it looks like this has the holes in the front a long zipper that goes all the way through the back and then it's long sleeve 
and it goes all the way to the ankles so in theory i thought this would be so cute and let me tell you something it looks completely different on the website than what i am holding in my hand <laughs> like i feel like this looks like pajamas and on the website it looks like it looks like a good thick material like leisure wear or athletic athletic type of you know like that stretchy strong material but this is not it this is not it like look at this like this was definitely giving me pajamas and pretty little thing i'm not even trying to knock you because i love pretty little thing but i feel like they really played me in these outfits that i just bought and i don't know if it's because i haven't shopped with them in a while or what it is but I'm gonna just show you I'm gonna just insert the clip like it's embarrassing like this really looks like some pajamas does not fit at all I got this in a size 8 US 12 UK as well and this was $58 but I bought it for $29 like this is not worth no 58 or $28 at all and yeah I'm very disappointed and even the cutouts like it's just flimsy like let me zoom in gonna like can you see how it just it's just thin and kind of like poorly made it's just not it's just not giving what it was supposed to give at all and I'm gonna insert the model too so you guys can see what I was looking at versus what I got so yeah so the next thing that I got which don't look at it too close because I wore this on vacation and it has like stains on it but I'm gonna show you anyways um it's this white button up and it scrunches at the bottom right here and it's a super long rope it's kind of hard to see when you put it up like this and then it has that shorter in the front long in the back situation and it curves like this um the sleeves do button it is collared and it is a thick material i wore this as like a swimsuit cover-up but like two minutes in when i was outside in that heat i was like yeah this is not a swimsuit cover-up this is actually really thick you can literally wear this in winter like i don't know if you can see the material but it's thick <laughs> um yeah so uh, you can wear this as a shirt a dress a cover-up um and then to match this i'll show you guys pictures but let me just show you the accessories i usually really 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 like plt's accessories because a they're cheap but b they're like cute but yeah so i bought this cute little green purse it just looks like this um it had a strap on it but <laughs> i don't know where it is <laughs> pretty sure it's in one of my friend's bag or something from the trip but yes it's so cute a little handheld i didn't wear it with a strap anyways because usually i don't like straps i usually like small bags like this um but yeah this is how it looks it got a little bit like dented in because them international airports just be throwing your bags like slamming your bags like <laughs> losing your bags but anyway and to match the bag and my green swimsuit i was doing a green look i guess i bought these little heels it's the exact same color the olive green and usually their heels are pretty nice too um what in the world oh i forgot uk sizes i was like <laughs> i seen size five on this i was like i am not no size five i'm a seven but I guess that's the uk size or whatever but um yeah so this is how it looks let me show you one foot at a time and then so it straps like that and then you pretty much bring this up to your ankle and wrap it around um with the bag and then i wore that cover up and then a green swimsuit and all right girly so that's pretty much all i have for you guys today i'm a little bit disappointed um i don't know plt could definitely do better they used to be like but i don't know i don't know if it's the stuff i got i don't know if i just got bad luck but half the stuff i got just were not it they did not fit they didn't look right it was not it so i'm a little bit disappointed but we're gonna run it back so yeah this wasn't a very positive haul <laughs> but i still wanted to show you guys and give you my honesty and you know tell you guys a little bit of the things to be aware of when shopping at plt like sizing all that stuff like the uk to us how stuff fits the material and what to expect um yes but we'll definitely be doing a haul at least one every week so definitely hit that subscribe button um and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one